everyone welcome to my channel aviator updates this is rakesh negi and today i am going to explain how does an airplane fly so let us consider this airplane model to explain the topic suppose my hand is representing ground and aircraft is standing over here so this aircraft or applicable for any body or object according to newton will continue to be in a state of rest unless an external force is applied on it so i hope you are clear with this next if i move this aircraft ahead it moves ahead if i apply force in this direction it moves in this direction i mean to say whenever a force is applied the aircraft moves or comes in a state of motion we know well motion is always relative so now let me explain how is the lift force developed suppose now i am holding this plane and i release it see now what happens on releasing the aircraft it has fallen down this has happened because of the gravitational forces of the earth it means if i want the aircraft standing on ground to fly in the sky the aircraft should have some force which will be more than the gravitational forces of the earth note that there are four forces which can act on a plane okay those are lift which acts upwards weight acts downwards thrust which is because of the engine which acts forward and drag which acts rearwards so these are the four forces which can act on a plane so if i want this plane which is on the ground to fly up in the sky it should have some force which will be greater than its weight or which will be greater than the gravitational forces of the earth and this force is called as lift hence for an airplane to fly it should overcome the gravitational forces of the earth let us understand this by taking the simplest example of a bird we know when birds fly in the sky it is because they flap their wings up and down so why do the birds flap their wings they do this movement to overcome the earth's gravitational forces how does this happen when the birds are flapping their wings a high pressure is created beneath their wings and a low pressure is created above the wings and we know when pressure always moves from high to low hence they gain the lift force or overcome the earth's gravitational forces and that's how they fly in the sky but in case of the metallic birds that is the airplane we know well it cannot flap the wings to fly so what aircraft does is when the aircraft is on the ground the engines are started because of the exhaust going rearward the aircraft starts moving forward this is newton's third law which says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so same is applied over here so when the aircraft is on ground with the engines started it starts moving forward because of newton's third law so let's go ahead so when the aircraft is moving ahead that time the air flow whatever is around the wings starts passing through the surface of the wing from forward to the rearward from the leading edge of the wing towards the training edge from on the top surface as well as on the bottom surface of the wing so during this roll on the ground as the speed of the aircraft is increasing the air flow starts moving at a faster rate so because of this a high pressure is created below the wing and a low pressure is created above the wing according to bernoulli's principle this causes a lift force to be produced on the wing and hence the aircraft lifts up simultaneously as the engines are producing the thrust and the lift force is produced by the wings the aircraft starts to climb and starts flying in the sky so that the modern commercial jets can cruise an altitude of 35 to 40000 feet hence an aircraft flies by overcoming the gravitational forces of the earth by generating lift and having high speed because of the engines and maintaining angle of attack so i hope you are clear with how does an airplane fly i'll come up again with a new topic in the next class till then enjoy learning thank you